The James Norris Memorial Trophy slash by TED Talks Hockey. The James Norris Memorial Trophy is named after James E. Norris, former owner of the Detroit Red Wings from 1932 to 1952. Norris is a native of St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. He made his fortune in the grain and shipping sector before purchasing the Red Wing franchise in 1932 and subsequently changed the team's name from Falcons to Red Wings. The award is given out annually to the National Hockey League's best defenseman whose overall playing abilities best exemplifies the highest level of skill in that position. Since its inception in 1953-54, the hardware has been awarded 61 times to 26 players. Winners are determined by members of the Professional Hockey Writer Association who vote at the end of the regular season. Each voter ranks his top five players on a 10-7-5-3 to 1 points system. Three finalists are selected and the winner is awarded the trophy at the NHL awards ceremony after the conclusion of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Norris Trophy consists of a silver bowl and lid that rests on a two-tiered octagonal wooden base. The lower base is wider than the top base and both are adorned with the same number of elongated silver plaques on which the winners' names are engraved. Hall of Famer Red Kelly of the Detroit Red Wings Kelly won four Stanley Cups with the Red Wings in the 1950s as a defenseman and another four as a center with the Toronto Maple Leafs during the 1960s. Doug Harvey won the trophy for eight consecutive years from 1954-55 to 1961-62. He was awarded the trophy in seven consecutive years with the Montreal Canadiens and his eighth and final time with the New York Rangers. After Doug Harvey, Pierre Pilot of the Chicago Blackhawks won the honor three times consecutively from 1961-62 until 1964-65. When Harry Howell won the award in 1966-67, he commented, I'm glad I won it this year. For the next few years, they'll have to rename it the Bobby Orr Award because that young man in Boston will own it. That statement turned out to be prophetic as Orr would indeed go on to win the James Norris Memorial Trophy for the next eight consecutive years becoming the only man to win as many individual trophies in a row in any sport. The trophy has a history of being attached to star players of individual eras. After the Bobby Orr era, the trophy would be won by superstars such as Dennis Potvin of the New York Islanders three times, Paul Coffey Edmonton Oilers, two, Ray Burke Boston Bruins, five, and Nicholas Leedstrom of the Detroit Red Wings six times. Nicholas Leedstrom was runner-up for the James Norris Memorial Trophy three years in a row from 1997 to 2000, before winning it three consecutive years from 2001 to 2003. Rod Langway of the Washington Capitals won the award in two consecutive seasons, 1982-83, 1983-84 and is considered to be the last of the true stay-at-home defensemen to have won it. Since then the trophy has belonged mostly to offensive defensemen. Brad Park of the New York Rangers and Boston Bruins was an exceptional defenseman but he played in the Bobby Orr slash Dennis Potvin era and therefore was runner-up to Orr four times and twice to Potvin setting a record as a runner-up. No team's players have won the award more than the Boston Bruins, having their players capture the trophy 14 times, with Zdeno Kara winning his first title in 2008-09. P.K. Subban won the award in 2012-13 while with the Montreal Canadiens, ranking them second with, 12, Norse Trophy recipients in franchise history. The Detroit Red Wings round out the top three with their franchise collecting, 9. Norris trophies, with the last one being won by Nicholas Leedstrom in 2007-08. Randy Carlyle won the trophy with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 1980-81 and remains the only player not to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame that is eligible. If you like this content please slash that like button and subscribe. You can also follow me at https colon slash slash Don't forget to keep your stick on the ice.